everyone and welcome back to the happy heart i am so glad that you guys came over today to see another video today i'm going to be showing you what is in my husband's stocking yes i do this every year and i show you what i put in my husband and my kids stocking stockings are so important to me because it's such a big tradition in my family and it wasn't like oh you're stocking on christmas morning tradition the reason i love them so much is we used to go to my grandmother's house on Christmas Eve and everybody in the family, there was like 15, 16 people, and she would have a whole line of stockings on her fireplace and she had filled them all. And just, it wasn't even about the gifts, but it was so fun to watch everyone and watch them open. And I just remember it being a really fun thing. Uh, unfortunately, we don't live near our family and our family is not that big anymore. So I always try to document what I get everyone in their stocking because it was so special to me growing up. So I hope this gives you guys some ideas and without further ado, I'll show you what is in my husband's stocking this year. So I'm going to def I'm definitely going to preface this with saying that I got everything at Walmart. So if you're looking for something, if you're like, oh, I think that's a good idea. Everything came from Walmart, and honestly, Walmart was crazy, and I was like, I'm going once, and I'm not going back until after Christmas, so I just decided tonight to go, and this is the stuff I got. So for funny things, I never know what to get, and I'm not a huge, like, jokester person, um, but I actually got him one of these. I'm sure if you've been at Walmart, you've seen these scalp massagers, and I thought this would just be funny. It was a dollar for a dollar. He can laugh and think this is funny. I actually think he'll really like it. <laughs> and I got a back scratcher. Can you not go wrong with a back scratcher? I mean, for real. <laughs> so I think those were kind of my funny items. Honestly, after that, I had no idea. I had a small idea and he gave me a little list like this. But I was walking around. Luckily, my mom called me. And you guys know if you watch my cleaning videos that my mom will call me and I'll like kick in a high gear and I can like clean my entire house. Or um, if I'm on the phone with somebody, I don't know what it is. It's like I'm not thinking about that task and I can like do it. So as I'm walking around Walmart, I'm talking to my mom on the phone. Things were just coming to me and I was like, yes. So let me show you. I found this little precision screwdriver kit. That's what it looks like. It was $5. It had a whole bunch of different tips in it. I guess there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tips that have five bits on them a piece. I thought it would be really useful because of all the different kind of bits. We've had problems where we need really, really small ones or the security ones or whatever. And I mean, I feel like you just can't have too many. I also picked up this random charging cord. I think I might keep it for myself because I need one. Um, but if you guys need an idea, like who can always use a charging cord? And everyone, anyone, you feeling me? You know, you guys know. So we actually wrote a few things out on a list and it was like a couple things. It wasn't anything big. And I was looking at the list like, what am I gonna do? And but this was on the list and they were the crest wisps i can never say it. i always add like more s's wisps wisps i don't know but i love these things he really loves these things um and so i got a whole big packet of them because he travels a lot so i knew that just getting a package um and also in the travel section you can get like four packs of them as well. So um, I think these are a really good idea. This was another thing that was actually on the list. No joke, he can't be offended because it was on the list. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping I got the right thing, but there are these um, Listerine cool packets. They're like the breathe strips. And so you just put like a strip on your tongue. And I think he just wanted to be able to like not carry gum around and things like that. Cause if he has to talk to people um, like in his job and things like that. I think he wanted to be able to not have like gum, but a alternative to that. So this was a thing I was most excited about. 
No joke in Walmart, guys. I had to ask somebody, a random person, to help me um, get it down. But guys, this was what I was most excited about. Um, my husband, to annoy me, loves to grow his beard out. I don't like it. Wish the thing would go away and never come back. But he likes it. So, um, I think he just doesn't like shaving, to be honest. Point here nor there. I got him a beard comb. He had this on his list, and I'm looking around like, this has got to be in here. Got to be in here. Could not find it, could not find it. This was the last one on the shelf. This I thought was a little bit pricey, so it was kind of like, for real. Um, but it was, they had a brush and they had this comb. And I thought this thing was kind of pricey. It was $10. Uh, but I was like, Ugh, I don't know, but I thought it would be cute and it's what he really wanted He doesn't ask for a lot. So I try to be nice. The other thing I got was I got this beard oil and it's like conditioning cream and It says it's beard and scuff softener y'all know if you have a man with some facial hair that even if you love it girls, even if you think this is like so sexy because you know some guys can pull a beard off it's still itchy like on like i'll break out on my chin because of his beard i swear it's because of his beard and sometimes it's rough like the facial hair is just kind of rough so i thought this was actually ingenious it helps soothe dryness and itchy beard and he always, he tells me his beard does itch and things like that. So my husband kind of grosses out, shaves it, grows it out. He doesn't keep a really thick beard either, but I thought he would like this because the other day he was telling me that um, he put some conditioner because he had been in a climate that was really cold for kind of an extended period of time. Um, if you guys haven't looked for my Vlogmas videos, um, we actually went and visited him in New York when he was doing some work in New York. And so he was up there for a couple of weeks. He's home now. But um, he said that the the weather, I guess, it being so cold constantly, kind of dried out his beard. So who knows? I didn't know either. Let's go on to the fun stuff. Um, and basically it's all the consumable fun stuff that you can eat that day. Isn't that the best thing about stockings that like usually they're filled with candy or some kind of treat that you can eat right then? So I got him some beef jerky. This, he likes teriyaki beef jerky. I didn't really know what kind to buy. I actually just saw this on the end cap. It was four bucks. I thought this would be good. Like a fun, easy thing. I don't know how I'm getting in a stocking though. One thing we do every year is we always get some kind of candy cane. Um, this year I got him Twix candy cane. So it has Twix in it, in the candy cane. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's for my son. Um, I always make sure I get these little candy canes. This was about $2. You can get the ones with M&Ms or Skittles or something like that for $1. But I thought that'd be fun. My hubby loves Snickers, so I got him, oh, upside down, but I got him some Snickers treats, and they only come out this time of year. I thought this was actually pretty pricey. I thought it would be better just to get, I don't know, maybe just a few Snickers um, bars instead of this, but I think it's just like the festive thought that counts. This was actually $3.88, and so when I did get home today, I told him, I was like, oh my gosh, them Snicker trees. <laughs> and he was like, really? And so we had this whole big dialogue about it. So he does know he's getting these Snicker trees, but there are some things in your stocking that should be a staple, right? So last year, my husband got me some interesting things in my stocking. And this is a tradition that we do every year. Um, we usually don't buy each other uh, big gifts or anything like that. We usually just do stockings for each other. So I try to buy nicer things because I'm not buying him like a bigger gift. And there wasn't really anything big that he wanted, even that I would spend 40, 50, hundred dollars on. So I got him kind of these little things that kind of add up quick y'all, but it's the thought that counts. One of the things that he got me that was so weird last year was he got me this 
gum in like a three pack. And it's Hubba Bubba um, bubble tape gum. And I was like, why does he think I like this? Have y'all had this happen where your husband gets you something and you're just like, why do you think I like that? Like what gave you the idea that I would like that? I have like that. I th so <laughs> I this year decided to get him a roll. It's only a dollar. I think it's really good for kids stockings, but kind of weird that he got it for me. So I'm kind of like reciprocity. I'm going to see if he likes it and maybe that's why he picked it out. I have no idea. The interesting thing I can tell you about this gum is that my son was telling me this year that he hoped this was in his stocking because he basically stole mine last year. So you have to head on over and see that video as well. And I will link that here. The other thing I got him candy wise was Starburst. He really likes Starburst. This is kind of like a new thing. I did get him two more things that are kind of like a family gift, but more um, that I thought he would like. One of them definitely is for him. The other one I thought would just be really good to have in the house. They're definitely for his stocking, but they're not going to fit in his stocking. So I will show you guys. So this is a two pack of LED headlamps. Um, they were $10. They're Ozark brand. My husband does a lot of work um, where he needs flashlights constantly and things like that. So I thought these would be cool. I know at different points in his career job he's had lights like this that he can put on his um head um but they do some work that he would need it so i thought this would be fun also we live in the south so there are hurricanes here you can't get enough flashlights you can't get enough candles you can't get enough of any of that so well, i decided to get this mini little lantern it's actually like two little lanterns in one so it's kind of different and I think one is stronger than the other and I thought this would be good. Um, they last for a long time. Um, one says 82 hours, one says 300 hours. I have no idea. But I thought this is a really ingenious thing just to have in our house and so somebody was going to get it for Christmas because I knew that these kind of sets go on sale around Christmas time that I wouldn't be able to find this um, for this good of price if I would have waited. So somebody was getting this and it's probably going to be my husband. So that is it guys. Those are all my stocking stuffers that I got him this year. I know that... Um, not all of them are super fun. Um, it might seem like too much, but uh, we don't really do gifts or anything. This is really the only thing that we do um, as far as present wise for each other. So I always try to get him a few nicer things. And honestly, like if there was one bigger thing that he would want, I probably would have gotten that instead of a lot of little smaller things. But you all know as an adult, it's really difficult to find things that people will like and use um, because we mostly just go buy what we want. I hope this video gave you guys some ideas for all the men in your life. I know it's really hard when you're trying to find little stocking stuffers for like uncles or or dads that have everything and things like that. So I love watching these videos. So I just wanted to put it out there and hopefully help somebody say, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Or, oh yeah, that's a really good idea. Or maybe that's something I hadn't thought of because literally I was just walking around Walmart like I gotta get something. If you have any questions, if I didn't mention a price or anything like that, just let me know and I will talk to you guys in the comments below. Let me know your great ideas for stocking stuffers because I would love to know what your good ideas are for men because, oh, y'all, I just pulled the rabbit out of my hat this year. I do not know what next year brings. I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have a Merry Christmas. Bye for now.